Hey friends, this is Ricky White, pastor of Havenwoods Baptist Church, and today I want to ask you a quick question. The question is, what are you living for? Every one of us need to answer that question in our lives. Years ago, I remember reading an article, and the article asked the question, what gets you up in the morning, an alarm or a calling? We all have things in our life that motivate us, that, that cause us to want to, to do better. And the fact is that throughout the Word of God, we see that Jesus should be that motivating factor in the life of every Christian. You know, I love the fact that throughout the Word of God, we see characters and people in the Word that uh, had encounters with God. One of those that God has really used to impact my life is the life of Paul. In Philippians, uh, Paul is writing a letter to a church at Philippi. And in Philippians chapter 1 and verse 21, the Bible says this, For to me to live is Christ, and to die is gain. Now, Paul hadn't always been that way. As a matter of fact, Paul used to not even be his name. He was known as Saul of Tarsus. And Saul of Tarsus was a hard man. He was a persecutor of the Christians. And so what happened? What changed in Saul's life that not only did he change his name to Paul, but he had a major change in his heart, in his mind, in his priorities? I mean, you just think the man who used to persecute Christians is now saying, I'm willing to die for Jesus. And again, I believe what changed was Paul realized after he had his encounter with Jesus on the road to Damascus that I want to live my life for Jesus. I don't want to just carry the name of Christ. I want to really make an impact for Christ. And for every one of us, we have to make a decision what is it that I'm going to live for in my life? You know, the fact is that as we think about that question, I believe that God desires for us to live for Him with a, even a greater commitment than the commitment that we used to live for the devil. You know, prior to salvation, every one of us lived our lives selfishly, and, and as a result of us living in sin, we were living for the devil. Well, we come to the point, the Holy Spirit convicts our heart. We realize that we need salvation through Christ and Christ alone. We ask Him to forgive us. We ask Him to come into our heart and life and save us. And as a result of that commitment, friend, Jesus deserves to be number one in your life. And you may say, well, you may... Jesus needs to be above my finances? Yes. Jesus needs to be above my, my agenda and my, my motive for living? Yes. You may say, but Ricky, surely you're not saying that Jesus should be above my family. Friend, that's what the Bible says. The Bible says that, that we should put nothing above at a higher priority in our lives than Jesus. So I just want to ask you again, who are you living for? What is it that wakes you up in the morning? Is it an alarm or is it a calling? I want to pray for you right now. God, I ask you to be with each one who's watched this video today. And God, I pray you would search our hearts. God, if we have been living selfishly just unto ourselves, God, if we have other things in our lives that have taken a higher priority in our lives above you, oh God, I pray you would change our heart. Your word says in Matthew 6, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these other things will be added to us. So God, the truth is when we seek you first in our lives, God, you have promised that you will take care of every other need, every other relationship, everything else 
that's, uh, that's a lower priority in our lives when we put you in your rightful place. So God, I just pray for each one of my friends watching right now that God, you would establish your kingdom, your throne in our heart and that God, we would be absolutely fully committed and devoted to Jesus above all else knowing that when we put you in your rightful place, you bring order to every other part of our lives. And God, I pray right now if there's anybody watching who's never given their life to Jesus, that God, they would know just how much you love them, that you so love them that you sent Jesus to die on the cross to pay our sin debt. And if we, as your word says in Romans 10, if we believe with our heart what you have done for us, Jesus came and died for us and he was buried for us and he rose again on the third day for us. And if we confess that with our mouths, that we will be saved. God, I just pray if there's anybody watching right now who needs Jesus, that this would be the day, this would be the hour that they would trust Jesus as their Savior. And God, I pray for those of us who are saved, that God, you would help us get serious about walking with you and living for you and serving you. And that God, we wouldn't just have you as one of the priorities of our life, but God, we would make you the priority of each of our lives. And I thank you, Lord, that you lead us and guide us And help us know your will. And God, I pray that you just bless each one as uh, as each of us try to just be more like Jesus day by day as we allow you to live through us. For it's in your name we pray. Amen and amen. And listen, I want to thank you for joining us today. If you prayed today and gave your life to Jesus, or maybe you want to talk some more about that, Maybe you have a prayer need in your life. I would love for you to reach out to me at rickywatt at gmail.com and I promise you I will pray for you. I'll encourage you. Do anything I can to help you in your walk with the Lord. But I look forward to seeing you again real soon. God bless you and have a great day.